Alright, what's up guys? Now, I don't think I ever told you about how I got my amazing job working at uh, Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Now, I got that job the same exact way <laughs> I got my very first job doing that landscape stuff. So, here's how it happened. Of course, I was, uh, like when I think it was, I was like 17 or something like that, maybe 15. I saw, finally saw the movie, um, Gone in 60 Seconds, the one with Nicolas Cage and then with Illinois. And oh my God, that car sounded good. So, I said, let me look it up on the internet. I think I looked it up by maybe about two years later. And I saw it, uh, my man, uh, Jeff Whitaker, check him out on YouTube, that's his name. He had a video of it. And uh, his was the best video I could find. Exact, sounded exactly like it to a T. So, of course, I asked him, you know, where's this car? Where are you located at? He said it was in Rockville. I'm like, what? So I didn't pay no attention to it. I didn't really have a car back then. So I got my car. And then I was talking to him again about it. And uh, he said he was in Rockville. Now, some of this I can't remember. I think, um, I think it ended up going up there one day and looking around and seeing all those nice cars. And, uh, I think I met, no, I didn't really meet Tony right off the bat. I just met a couple of other people when talking about cars up there and, and, you know, about this car, about that car, how I love cars and stuff and stuff like that. So, it was then, um, you know, I you kept going up there, kept going up there to visit them and helping out cleaning cars and stuff like that, or trying to. <laughs> um, and I made, because I made a couple of videos of that. And then, I think the first year I saw him at the auto show, um, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, that's what it was. I think I met him at the auto show first. I was even paying attention. I said, all oh, these nice cars over here. And I realized, oh, these cars are for sale. So I didn't pay too much time. I'm more concerned about the new car. I didn't think it was nothing to worry about. But uh, later on, I came back and you know looked at the car some more. And then I was like I said, I said hi to a couple of people and talking about cars again. Then the next year came around, and then I was actually looking for them. This time I found them, and I think this time. Um, uh, I know last time I think a couple people told Tony about, you know, this guy and he's a really nice dude, he like would love to work with us and stuff like that. So I think I went there the the last day before they closed that one that one year and Tony got there a little bit earlier before they closed and I was um, you know, talking around Um I was talking to a couple of people and him, you know, about, you know, these nice cars and, uh, how, you know, I like doing it, moving cars around and, you know, driving these nice things, stuff like that. I mean, Tony said, <laughs> you gotta wait till you get 25 years old. Man, I was a little depressed there. I said, dang, that's a long way to go. So, I was like, alright, Tony, that's fine. So... A couple of years after that, I kept going to the auto show, helping him out, helping him out, and telling people about the cars and stuff. Come check this out. Come check that out. And give him a hand as much as I could. And I would go up to the dealership and help him out up there. And then, finally, the last year was at the car, uh, the auto show. I came up there, of course, I saw everything. Okay. Now, I said, I'm going to try something. So, they said, all right, the dealership, I mean, the auto show is ending in about two minutes. Everybody, please leave the dealership now. I mean, the auto show now. Thank you. And then they said, all right, the auto show is now closed. I'm like, yes. So I think I ended up hiding behind Tony's bus or something like that. And I'm like, all right. So I came out, and then Tony showed up. And I was talking to him, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to show you what I did, too. I did this. 
did this, pulled up my wallet out, I took the driver's license up, I said, here, Tony, I'm now 25 years old. <laughs> he looked at me, smiled, laughed a little bit, and he said, all right, take that 67 GTO and put it in line with the other cars. And of course, I said, I thought about it because I had that moment. I was like, all right, Tony, I can do that. And that's where those first videos, he saw me the auto shoot moving those cars for the first time. So, that's when I said, I got those jobs not by applying for it. I call it by auditioning for it. Show them that I'm capable of it. And this is actually found out when there was actually a lot of tender position where I could drive everything. <laughs> so I said, this is awesome, man. So, like I said, I love it up there. And uh, it was a amazing amazing experience everybody was friendly up there dude and you know everybody was nice and uh, I made a good amount of friends up there and you know I helped Tony out and like I said when I started working up there it was doing pretty good and it wasn't too long after that Tony gave me my first raise okay because he was so proud of what I was doing and then if you all remember at the old dealership he made all his videos on that pad out front, okay? Now, he said to me that every two weeks, I think he said, he wanted that pad clean. So I had to move all the cars off of there and get the mop out there and spray all the, the oil spots and you know, wipe the whole, mop the whole thing, which, of course, took about an hour, hour or so. Then put all the cars back, make sure they lined up and everything. So I was doing that for a good maybe month and a half. And then I hit Tony with, I said, all right, Tony, when's your next video so I can get the pad clean before you do it? So all right, I'm going to try to make one this evening. So I said, all right. So about an hour or so before they closed, I believe, I moved everything off of the pad because that way nobody wanted to, you know, take the car out and show a customer this and make a video of it. Took all the cars off the pad. Then I wiped everything down. I took more extra time this time and did it again. I went over it twice. Then I told Tony, all right, your pad's ready to go. It's all clean. So he came out as I was finishing up. I said, man, Devin, this looks really good, man. I really do appreciate this. I tell you what, I'm going to give you another raise. I'm like, awesome. Now check this out, guys. There's nothing by getting a raise for a job you love to do. And there's no better feeling of waking up early and say, oh my God, I get to go to work today. Okay, not very few people can say that, okay? I love going to work. Yo, know, driving those cars, at least starting them, oh my God, man. Get a whole bunch of stuff off my bucket list out of the way. But it was a awesome awesome experience man and like i said i love it up there so much i even still go back up there and visit the last time i went up there and visit i did the same thing i started grabbing some rags and wiping some of the fingerprints off the cars and stuff like that and of course i know tony was paying attention to that <laughs> i kind of made sure of that too but um yeah it, it's, it's awesome you know like i said tony's doing an awesome job up there man i mean the fact that you know, i know the storyline behind it it's amazing so Love you guys. Thanks for watching.